The question I ask time and time again is whether we each have the right relationship to groups. I'm asked effectively whether I support Extinction Rebellion. No, I don't support Extinction Rebellion. I support individuals who um, have the intention of operating from the love mode for the well-being of all sentient beings on Earth. So, um, am I part of a personality cult? Well, I'm tempted to embrace the phrase personality cult, um, but at the same time, I have not joined any organisation um, that could be called a personality cult. Maybe not for want of trying. I've been, I asked for ordination into uh, one particular Buddhist group. Um, they've still, my ordination request is still there, um, 14 years on from having asked for ordination. But the translation that I learned in what's called the Mitra study course, year three, um, in a, this translation of the Karaniya Metta Sutta by Vidanya has such an interesting line about um, not belonging to any groups. I'm looking for it now. You'll see it when I read it, or you'll hear it. So, yeah, don't get caught up in the concerns of the group. So if there's a, a phrase for an independent um, political candidate, or anyone, it's perhaps don't get caught up in the concerns of the group. If you know what is good for you and want to reach a state of perfect peace, then this is how you need to live. Start by becoming a capable person who is upright and straightforward, easy to talk to, receptive and free of conceit. Become contented and easily satisfied, not too busy with a simple life. Keep your senses tranquil have respect for others, don't get caught up in the concerns of the group and don't do anything ignoble that wiser people would criticise. Then you should meditate like this, thinking may all beings be happy and at peace, may all beings be happy in their heart of hearts, may all living things be well, the weak and the strong, the small and the large, those near and those far away those you can see and those you can't. Whether living now or yet to be born, may all beings be happy in their heart of hearts. May no one deceive another. May no one look down on another. May no one hate another. May no one wish another to suffer. Just as a mother cherishes her child, her only child, develop an unlimited heart of matter for all beings, sending love and goodwill in all directions, above, below, and all around, beyond all enmity and hatred. Whether you are at home or traveling, whether you are standing, sitting, or in bed, in all your hours, practice this mindfulness, which is like living in heaven right here and now. In this way, you will leave wrong views behind. You will be filled with perfect vision and going completely beyond craving, you will be liberated from the rounds of rebirth forever. <laughs>